Hey, hi everyone. Hi, this is Kevin from thehungryagents.com. Uh, okay, so uh, today we're not going to be talking about food. We're going to talk about this project called Jitscape. Um, this Jitscape is located at uh, Shunfu, right? That's like Upper Thompson, Bishan area. Uh, in fact, this uh, project has been in the news. Uh, it has been on preview. You know, they have actually have a very huge uh, beautiful sales gallery that is located right next to Bishan and Marathi. So preview has been going on. Um, I think one of the news articles actually talk about a lot of people actually uh, uh, going to the show fair on the on the on the pre first preview weekend. So you can see like there's a lot of interest in this project in this area. I right, um and what's gonna happen is uh, uh tomorrow will be actually the last day of preview. Thereafter they will. Uh, they will actually cut off the so-called the check submission, right? And the uh, actual launch is targeted to be on the twenty second of uh, September, right? So a few days from now. So what happens is during this preview period, uh, if if you guys are not uh, if you guys are not new to this game, right? So so if you are interested, what happens is you put in a check to so-called register your interest, right? And uh, on the twenty second, which is the uh, the day of launch, uh, you or your representative that you authorize will have to be present, and then most of the time, the more of sales will be via balloting, right? So, uh, so if you have put in a check, they would ballot. You know, then if you're lucky, you get caught early, then um, you will be able to choose the unit of your choice, right? Uh, but if you Get your number and you decide that you know you don't have a unit that you like or the prices the exact real prices that came out are not something that um, it's not something that you expected then uh, you can also uh, not proceed with the purchase as well right so generally that's how it works right, um okay so so uh let me just just do a quick uh overview of jscape and then uh, the purpose of this video is I uh, just want to share a bit more about the site map and the floor plans. Uh, and then, so if you are looking to get a unit uh, this coming weekend, then uh, hopefully you know this personal insights will be able to help you with your choice of your units. Right, um, so Jetscape, right? That's that's where it is. Uh, the so the actual sales gallery is not on site. It's actually at Bishan and MRT. Right, so so probably tomorrow is the last day. Maybe in some cases they might extend one or two days. I don't know. Right, uh, so the actual site is at uh, Shunfu Road there. So formerly it was uh, uh, Shunfu View. So it kind of like uh, got on block. And then now if you go there, it's holding up. They're tearing it down. Um, uh, it's a rather huge piece of land. Right. Um, maybe this uh, this will give you a better, you know, if you, if you just look at this. Uh, map here. Uh, I think one of the most important thing that uh, we are happy to know is the fact that this is about two hundred fifty minutes, three minutes walk to the nearest uh, Marymount MRT, which is on the Circle Line. So, uh, so I I feel that you know this this very accessible Circle Line. So you can either uh, take a couple of stops to uh, Bishan and change to the North South Line, or you can go further some more to Serangoon and then you hit the Purple Line, which is Northeast Line. Uh, or even to buy a labor, right? Uh, so definitely this uh, plus point for the residents around this area. And then uh, in time to come, there will also be the Upper Thompson MRT, which is the uh, brown line. Uh, we call it the Upper East Coast uh, MRT line. So so that, that's slightly a bit further away. That's about eight minutes walk, which is still uh, bearable. Uh, but this is this this is good, all right? Um, and the MRT is underground, so you don't actually get noise or from the track running past you. Uh, looking a general look at the surrounding, um, on one side you have these existing HDB blocks uh, around here. Right. Uh, let me see, maybe I should zoom in a bit more. All right. Okay, hopefully it's clearer. Uh, so these are some existing HDB blocks uh, and then these are some of the condos and then over here these are some light uh, industrial uh, buildings. Right. Uh, this is where Raffles Institution is. R I. Other than that, you know, generally you're surrounded by, uh, land estate. Uh, which uh, should be a good thing because that means that in in general, you know, this area at least, it's not 
exactly a very high density area uh, so you, so you don't have like a, a lot of condos a lot of high rise that will probably make the place more a bit more congested than usual and um, you know if you if you uh, still a lover of our local hawker culture then there's a market over here there's a hawker center so it's a lot of stuff here and then you have your Thompson Plaza etc etc and uh, one of the selling points they always like to talk about for this project is the fact that uh, it's actually uh, surrounded by uh, a lot of uh, green lungs, a green catchment area. So one of it, which is the uh, Manchuria Reservoir, or alternatively, uh, out of this map, you go further down, then that's where the uh, Bishan Amokyo Park is as well. There's another popular area for people to hang out with their families over the weekend or uh, you know bring their uh, pet dog for a stroll. Right, so so yep, just where the area is, and you know Bishan is kind of like more or less in the center of Singapore. So uh, so once you turn out from the project next time, on to Marymount Road, uh, you can either hit the city or even uh to the PIE via the Leoni via that uh, pretty quickly. So for drivers, uh, staying around Topayo Bishan it has always been uh very very accessible, right? So, um. Okay, yeah, this is just a just a quick one, right? Uh, there, there's gonna be a total of one thousand two hundred and six units, right? That they're gonna build on this huge plot of land, um, and there will be six retail shops inside to serve the uh, local, you know, to serve the community inside, right? Um, expected vacant possession is uh two zero two three, right? So about. Now we are coming to the end of 2018, so we're talking about four years, three to four years construction period, right? Okay, so this is actually the main, uh, the main section that that I want to cover. Uh, so as you can see here, this is the uh, entire site map of the project, right? It's more or less like a, some sort of a triangle area, okay? Um, this is the uh, these are all the landed uh, estate here, right? And then if you look to your right, this is the main Marymount Road, which is heading towards the Bishan Amokyo direction, right? Upwards and downwards is uh, towards Topayo. So uh, and uh, on this side, you know, this is the uh, Shunfu Road, which is which is uh, a small dual carriage way, right, uh, small lane. So so usually unless for uh, people who are heading back home to the landed estate uh, down or maybe cutting through to uh, sorry to the HDBs that are staying around here or or cutting through to the landed estate. Right. So you don't actually this road doesn't really get very busy. The busy road is the main Marymount road because that's a main uh, uh, carriage way. Right. And uh, the entrance would be from here. Okay, so this is a, this is a grand drop off, and uh, you realize that there's a lot of facilities in this project. There's uh, there's like, I think up to ninety six. So uh, I won't be going through all of them. Uh, but the point here is uh, there are a lot of pockets of open space in this uh, entire huge plot of land. Right. Uh, this is a fifty meter lap pool. And there's another pool. I think I guess these are all the jacuzzi, play pool, clubhouse. Etc. Etc. Um, there's a lot of side gates also. Uh, there's a bus stop here, uh, which uh, is on the direction to Bishan, right? Uh, alternatively, if you are walking to MRT, I guess you can either come out of this side gate or from the main entrance, right? Uh, and then there's another side gate here that brings you to the Sunfu Mart, which is like a convenience store of some sort. Right. Uh, another thing that people like to ask about, uh, so this is the substations over here, right? And the, the so-called the bean center is actually over here, right? Uh, but uh, notice that they say that it's at the basement, so hopefully it doesn't really affect uh, the the units over here, right? So there there are a total of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven blocks. Uh, up to 23 story highs, right? Um, each block you can see this either uh, some of it has six units, some of it eight, right? Uh, uh, first look, the premium blocks would be 10 and 12, right? Uh, because that's you realize this is where the four and the five beaters are, and 
uh, generally, you know, we associate the premium block with the blocks that have a larger unit and lesser density. Um, and, uh, and they actually also have this uh, Sky Garden, which is uh, only available at block 10, block 12. So the Sky Garden is actually on these two, so you can actually go up this uh, observation deck. Uh, I think you can book it for your private function or something, right? Okay, so um, for Jetscape, you have uh, starting from one bedroom to uh, five bedrooms, right? So you have a choice and then you have your penthouses as well, right? So for the one bedroom, uh, uh, each type, actually for each type, there's also quite a number of configurations right, uh, that you can uh, take note of or you can choose, right? So for, say, for example, the one bedroom, um, they have the... Um, this this picture that you see is uh, taken from the show fed. Right, into the show fed looks exactly the same. So I suppose this kind of is taken from there. Right, uh, so the uh, the one bedroom, you know, they have this gold standard unit, uh, and then it's actually uh, I think it's decent size, is five hundred twenty seven square feet, and the layout um, is also uh, very efficient layout. I, I like it. You know, squarish comes in the simple kitchen cabinet and then uh, you have a the, the bathroom I saw was very very spacious and um, uh, I think they they have a lot of uh, design that are elderly friendly right so they have that's why they need a bit more space in the bathroom for the elderly to maneuver if they are on wheelchairs right so so that's that's how it is and the master bedroom a uh, good size master bedroom with with the balcony and living you know this these are like standard but the fact that it's all squarish and then they even have a, a provision for ramp up from uh, the entrance right so definitely they are making this with the uh, the elderly in mind right ramps at entrance and, and balcony um yeah that's something something that i cannot share with you in this video but if you have chance to go show fact you realize that uh, there's a lot of hydraulic system being employed in the kitchen, so you can actually pull down the racks and all these things. These, these are small, small, uh, tiny details that uh, that eventually, you know, when you are a real user of the property day in, day out, you will uh, definitely be appreciative of these conveniences that the, uh, behind the, all this top process that the developer has put into to create all these conveniences for you, um, or I mean, in some cases, you are renting out for a tenant. Okay, so uh, for the one bedrooms, uh, later I'll just go back, zoom back in the map. For this particular one bedroom, uh, there's only available at block two, so you can see there's only these few units that are being highlighted here, right? Uh, so there, are, there is the other normal, you know, one bedroom type, which is the type A uh, against the five two seven. Okay, and then uh, we talk about the two bedroom. Two bedrooms there are also several configurations. You have your basic entry model which is at 646 square feet uh, available at block 6 and block 8 um, uh, I'll show you shortly all right it's a bit small okay back to this one bedroom so so just now there was was a golden standard so they have kind of like some uh, provision for the elderly but if not then the uh, the normal one bedroom which is this type A 527 uh, then you can see here uh, there's there's about three stacks in this two block and then one stack each in block 10 and block 12 uh, but all of them are facing the south okay what another interesting thing about this project uh, which i forget to mention if you look at the site map and uh, all they have designed all right uh, which i guess all of us like it um, this all these blocks are not south facing so you you uh, yeah literally you cannot complain saying that your unit is west facing but of course uh, uh no matter what during some part of the year you will definitely get some west sun because you know that the sun actually does not directly comes in uh, from direct west so it can come in from the angle so north south so uh, the units on this side will actually get more of the morning sun these walls and uh, this side would be the west sun on this direction but it is a trade-off which i'll explain why uh, later we, we just look at the floor plan first then, then i'll go back to the site map right so um so if you are looking at the two bedrooms uh all right this is how the two bedrooms will look like this type b1 646 um come in again open kitchenette all right you realize they they have provision for your washing machine and all these things uh dining four seater your living and then uh you know it's all tucked in to one side the bedroom Okay, uh, and uh, there's only one bathroom for this configuration. 
Okay, so which is the toilet that is over here. So something for you to take note. Uh, I think it's getting common nowadays. Two bedrooms, they always have a two bed one bath configuration because of size constraint and also uh, to keep the uh, entire purchase price uh, manageable for a lot of people who still requires a two bedroom. Uh, I mean, still, if you are like just two person or three person staying, I think it's still okay, you know. Right, uh, for the two bedrooms, uh, this for this type B one, you can see that it's actually available at block six and eight, as mentioned. They are in the center. All right, so there's only four stacks. Uh, so two units on block eight and two units on block six. Uh, so block six actually, these two units will actually have the pool facing. All right, I'll, I'll show you shortly. Okay, then if you find that uh, you need two bathroom, then you have to go for the two bedroom deluxe which is right here right almost more or less the same just that uh, you realize that now uh, for the additional space uh, six four six versus uh, six seven six four you have uh, extra I, I, I guess every, every bit of it also is slightly larger but, but most importantly the the obvious difference is this bathroom second bathroom that they have right so so uh, yeah so if you if you need two bathroom all right, then you have to go for the six four six uh seven six four sorry seven six four and the best part is uh in fact for this co configuration uh the developer has made available a lot more units so you can see here there's something at block eight block six block ten in fact every single block uh, as long as you're looking for this uh they they do have available All right so so uh i think when it comes to uh uh, the choices of views and all these things then then if you are okay with this size then you get a lot more right but definitely the in terms of the the attractiveness of uh, price in terms of the total price then that that would be the two two bay one bath because it's like hundred almost hundred square feet smaller so that does make a lot of difference in terms of the final price right uh, last but not least you have your uh, two bedroom premium Okay, let's just see what's the difference over here. Uh, uh, okay, if, uh, the two bedroom premium you don't have a lot. It's only available at block two, so there's only two uh, stacks. So assuming uh, it's twenty three levels, so uh, I mean just uh, averagely it's twenty three levels, so it's only about 40, 46 units. Okay, let's let's just maybe just do a quick comparison. Uh, where's the difference? Uh, well, one first thing that comes to my attention is um. Uh, Notice how the previous uh, one bedroom, two bedrooms are all uh, open kitchenette. So in this case, for the premium, you have a proper enclosed kitchen. So uh, that that would that might might be uh, important to some, right? Especially families who, uh, or or you're someone who loves to spend a lot of time in the kitchen, cooking up a storm. You know, then it's good to have an enclosed kitchen. Uh, other than that, mm, pretty much the same. If you ask me. Right, I can't really see any significant difference. Maybe small differences of sizes here and there. Right, same thing. Two bathroom. Uh, yeah. So the obvious difference is the fact that if you want a proper kitchen, then go for the premium. But uh, yes, as I mentioned, the premium there's only uh two stacks available at block two. Uh, I I yeah, we'll probably have to see the price also. Okay, so moving on, uh, three bedrooms again. There are a few configurations. So the the entry level, the three bedroom, the C one type, nine o four square feet, eighty four square meter, right? Uh, and this is how it looks like. So it comes in. You have a proper kitchen, right? Three bedrooms usually family, so you definitely need a proper kitchen. Uh, so two bathroom and three pre pre standard configuration, right? So so three bedroom uh this bedroom can put in a queen size no problem uh but the third bedroom can only put in a single bed so in some cases uh people either hack it through combine or it just becomes a study right um, yeah okay and uh it's uh on block 4 and 16 for the three bedroom uh there's another type c1b same size 904 Okay, pretty much mirror image uh. so so it's on the other side you know 
Okay, uh, how about the three bedroom deluxe? Larger, you know, 1012 square feet. Okay, let me see. Let, let us just compare where's the difference here. So coming in, uh, you do get this extra storage. You get a larger kitchen from what I can see. So uh, according to their plan, they're saying that, you know, the hall does give you space for a six-seater versus a four-seater. If not, then you won't have space. So generally a, a wider and larger kitchen and dining area. Mm. And the third bedroom, uh, instead of just a single size bed, you can now fit in a queen size bed. Right. So the difference in that uh, about close to 100 each square feet, uh, difference in the larger kitchen, and you have a larger third bedroom, a proper third bedroom. Yeah, so that's the premium and uh, the the other one. And I think in terms of the unit allocation, they are pretty equal, right? So um, in this case, uh, the units are all at the at the side here, right? Uh, with the north and the east facing. Okay, so that was a uh, deluxe, yeah. How about premium? Okay, so we have another one, premium, even a larger size, 1152. So now you have even a larger kitchen that have a slight extension. You have a yard, you have a laundry area and extra WC, right? Most people would probably convert this into the helper's room if you have a, have a helper right because like for example you know if you look at look at this deluxe even you get a deluxe uh, you would have to think about where you need to uh, put your put your helper all right so if you if you put her in the storage then um, yeah she can she can probably sit, sleep here but then there won't be an extra w wc right so in this case, she can she can use this space here, and you still get an extra yard for 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 you to dry a laundry or something, right? So, yep. So you have choices. So okay, so three bedroom premium, different various configuration. Let's talk about the four bedrooms. Um, four bedroom starts from one two five six square feet. The kitchen layout is somewhat similar to the three bedroom premium, and uh, the fourth bedroom can probably only put a single or super size single. Yeah. Uh, how about the deluxe? Deluxe difference almost two hundred square feet difference, about one hundred eighty two hundred square feet difference. Coming in first look. Pretty much the same everywhere, perhaps slightly elongated kitchen, like slightly larger kitchen. Uh, and the master bedroom comes with a walk-in closet additional. And the fourth bedroom can now put in a, a double bed. Right. So slightly larger, uh, that you get a larger fourth bedroom, you get a slightly larger kitchen you get a master bedroom that gives you more closet space, right? The ladies will love it. And you also get a um, balcony that is uh, different. You can see here, so you actually have a split balcony. So this is a master and this the living each have their own balcony. But in this case, one single balcony that's accessible from the second bedroom in the living hall, right? Uh, which do you prefer as a person? Personally, I, I prefer the balcony to be here big enough so that it's easier for me to plan my the outdoor furniture right yeah but I guess personal preference I guess the difference is whether you you want the fourth bedroom to be able to fit a double bed right then then that would that would probably be a difference okay uh, last but not least okay oh yeah and then you still have a four bedroom suite <laughs> so your two three and four bedroom each have Three types of configuration. So this is the largest size, one six four seven. Another compared to the earlier, I think it's another hundred, almost close to hundred square feet difference, right? Um, let's look at this. This is the typical unit. So uh, coming in, wow, well, you, you get a way larger kitchen, 
all right and then you get a utility space this unit comes with a private leaf lobby all right uh, do know that this private leaf lobby does count as part of your total area that you purchase right uh, really a proper uh, living and dining area really a huge one okay so you can actually according to here you can put up to eight people sitting uh, dry wet and dry kitchen so this is the first type that comes with that a wet and dry kitchen right uh, even the master bedroom has a larger walk-in closet compared to the previous model you have an additional powder room yeah so so main difference uh, private leaf lobby right and then you have a way larger kitchen you have a way larger walk-in closet uh, and then you also get this additional powder room uh, and I believe the uh, uh, you can put your dining and living together because you get a wide, wider uh, uh, living area right so that's the four bedroom suite one six four seven square feet okay and you can actually have a few choices uh you, as i mentioned the big units uh all at the premium block which is 10 and 12 so 10 and 12 are the premium blocks to me right okay then uh for the for the for the really multi-gen huge families you know you, you need that space then five bedroom uh we're talking about 2099 square feet uh you can look at here right so briefly run you through come in kitchen wet and dry kitchen uh, such a huge living and dining area right um again this and the uh, uh, four bedroom suite will have their own private leaf lobby okay uh this is the junior master so you have a master bedroom and you have a junior master and the rest and then you will be all the rest of the three bedroom right uh, but all can put in a double bed and you have your storeroom as well right. so so the five bedroom suite the additional fifth bedroom uh, comes in the form of a junior master right so that's the that's the main difference right 2099 square feet and again they are located at block 10 and 12 Okay, so coming back to the uh, site map right now, uh, let me just share a bit about how I would go about choosing the units. Right, um, uh, I think first thing is uh, uh, it really depends on how the level of interest are uh, in terms of check collection. Then usually the developer may not also release all the units at one time. Uh, so that's something that you have to be aware of right so so in some cases they uh, like say for example the one bedroom you you know that you have like uh, one bedrooms over here and one bedrooms over here right uh, they may decide that oh i only want to release like maybe stack 15 and 13 i'm keeping 14 and 38 till later uh, either they gonna keep it to a just price or or they just want to wait for the earlier release to finish the take up before they release right so so that that could be something uh that happens very often uh that's something that we will not know also uh, so from first look if you are looking at the one bedroom uh okay uh, okay let maybe just let me talk about direction uh personally my preference for the the view would definitely be units that can uh, look out to the Thompson Garden Estate right? because uh, these are the landed houses you are away from the main road so you are less likely to get noise from traffic and the dust coming through here even though there's already a setback it's actually not that bad but given a choice definitely I would choose units that are further left in uh, facing the landed estate as far, uh, I mean, for me, it's as high a floor as possible because uh, uh, I, I, I need the wind. You know, I, I, I love a uh, windy and bright uh, unit. Right? But that's the trade off. Uh, that's something that you have to be aware of. Even though I said that uh, this entire project, the units are north south facing. All right? um, if you are taking the uh, units that are on the left, all right? so that's where you also get the afternoon sun coming. Uh, in 
right so so say so this is the north south so morning sun will come in from this direction and this is where the afternoon sun is so it for units over here is gonna hit this side of the wall uh, like it or not there will be some heat retention uh, hopefully not very very serious right uh yeah so so but having said that you know if you want quiet and then you want unblocked view and then so so you probably want to look at units that are around here facing facing this type they can look out to here uh these are houses at most you know give it three three and a half stories if not usually they are two stories right alternatively if you want to play it safe then uh how about units that are looking towards the pool these are always um pool facing you know you can hardly go wrong although there will always be concern about some people who say uh, i want to avoid facing the children pool we can get noisy during uh weekends we, which is uh, a genuine concern because uh, uh judging from the location and then the kind of units that are available here you get a lot of family staying in here so um, perhaps you might want to be uh, facing this pool, this lab pool I, I think this, this is probably where the adults will hang out only and the children will probably hang out over here right, so we talk about one bedroom first so one bedroom is uh, you, you have units here, right, three units here and then uh, and then this three they are facing the HDB block and Sun Fu Road this three facing the tennis court and then beyond and then you have this uh, two um, rare stacks that are in this premium block. So, right, first choice for me, um, definitely the one bedroom on stack 38 or stack 44. Okay, if you don't like the double number DJ of 44, then, uh, then stack 38. Uh, if you follow my flow of thoughts, then uh, I guess if the developer release either of these two stacks uh, it should come at a slight premium or maybe a premium over the the, the, the other six over here uh, but nevertheless I feel the take up should be quite fast for these two especially this particular stack right you have a uh, this stack in the premium block access to the root garden low density and you still get look you still get this clear water body view and the nearest and the next block is actually a good 78 meters actually very wide so to me one bedroom my first choice uh thereafter uh this will be my next choice in fact from here you are pretty much unblocked all the way till down to go to the next uh uh block buildings here which is the uh, hdb all uh, right so so that that will likely be your view um, so so yep first choice second choice and then uh for the next this uh three and three here uh if you really ask me to choose if i really have to choose then uh personally my preference would be for here block four first and then here block 16 right um Pros and cons, right? Uh, here is a lot more nearer to the next building, and then uh, it's at the edge. Over here, you if you are low floor, then I don't know if if this get used often, then you might uh, have to get used of some of the sound, and then this nearer to the main road, but uh, it's also near to the side gate, right? I mean, so it's hard to for me to choose, but it, it for but it's definitely a clear winner uh, with these two versus the rest of the six. So that's my one bedroom. Right now, so uh, how about two bedrooms? Uh, we have to look at the B, you can see here. Okay, uh, the way they have done the two bedrooms is somehow it's always in the center, except for the premium. You know, the two bedroom premium is actually only at these two stacks, which is a corner. Alright, so for, for two bedrooms, uh, you rest that most of them are actually right in the center. Okay, so you just look out for the B's, uh, type B, these are the two bedrooms. Right, uh, straight off, if you are going for the premium premium block, um, the, the premium two bedroom that has the uh, enclosed kitchen, the one that, that we talk about, you know, there are three types. So the third one, the, the premium one that has an enclosed kitchen, you don't really have a lot of choices either between 
uh, two or three, right? Okay, so so it will either be uh, or either of these two units. So it's either uh, this unit that faces in this direction or this unit that faces in this direction. And obviously, uh, uh, if I have to choose, then I will take two because it has an inward facing view. So at least you still get you see here and then you look towards here, you know. Uh, yeah, but limited choices again, right? Uh, then how about the uh, the rest of the two bedroom? So so you have your uh, two bed one bath and then you have your two bed two bath. Okay, for the two bed one bath, the smallest two bedroom, the six four six square feet. Uh, there's only four stacks to choose from, so it's either the 26, 19, 34, and twenty seven. So uh, I'm sure if by now you are following my train of thoughts, uh, my gut feel. 26 and 19 will be the more sought after ones compared to 34 and 27, right? Because of the, uh, you still get this get a pool view, whereas here, uh, you be looking almost at the perimeters, uh, less stuff. I mean, it's still green, it's still nice, but uh, personally, I prefer waterway, so, so I'll probably take this direction. Uh, but, but the plus point is, for 34 and 27 is, there is, uh, no building across you, you know, you, you get a good distance before you, you get the next obstruction. Whereas over here, uh, in 32 meters, you'll be looking into this block, which is block 8. So, uh, well, if you do not like people to be looking into your unit, uh, if you want privacy, then you should go for 34 and 37. Right. How about the larger one, the uh, 764, which is the normal 2 bed 2 bar. Right. Uh, so you get a lot more choices so you can choose from here if you want the pool view so so say in general if you want the waterway water body view so you can either look at 31 30 23 or 22 um, 23 and 22 for me because uh, of the longer distance from block 6 to block 4 right so so out of these this and this, I will probably either take either this or this, right? If you really want me to choose, I would prefer the south facing because I think there is a less likelihood of uh, west sun affecting these two units compared to these two, right? So uh, that's from a bit of my ex own experience, right? So, so. So out of these four, I'll prefer these two stacks. So I think these these two will be rather popular, right? Another one that's popular, I think thirty five will be pretty popular if they open up, right? Premium block, unblock. You know, if you get like maybe fifteen floor, you get like a clear view. There's like nobody looking into your unit. So this is probably one of the better stacks, thirty five and forty one. These are good stacks also, right? Thirty five and forty one. So you, you, can, you can probably, uh, depending on availability and price, so you can probably either look at these two, 23, 22, uh, or if it's possible, yeah, seriously, I, I would consider either 35 or 41. I will prefer 35. Right, and then you still have this. 1 and 9 is really not bad too, because of the long distance away. Right, so I think 1 and 9 is pretty nice, and then you have your 62. I, I think generally the, the two big two buff are pretty well uh, positioned. So, um, least favorite, these two are my least favorite. Uh, preferred, I would want, I think 35 is my top of the pick for myself, if I have to get one. If not, then, uh, if I can't get either of these two, then probably one and nine. I think they are good, right? Because of the the, the distance, I prefer it to be a bit away from my from my neighbors, right? Uh, okay. So next up, three bedrooms. Uh, three bedrooms are the C. So you look out for the C, right here, here, corners, corners. Um, and then you have these two also. All right. So you have your uh. The normal three bedroom, which is uh, the nine o four square feet. All right, let me try to find where it is. C one. 
all right ah yeah sorry so it's here okay and here 7 and 16 oh and then you also have 56 and uh, 60 right so you have uh, just to double confirm yep you have four stacks of three bedrooms for the for the for the smaller size 904 so 16 7 56 and 60 right uh this one will face the these two will face the HDB and then this will be pretty near to the entrance drop-off area. Uh, same for 7. Mm. Well, uh, my, my choice would be 16 first. Uh, or choose 16. Uh, and then the rest of the tree doesn't really make any difference to me. right? So it's pretty much the same facing. I guess if you get a higher floor, then uh, you won't be affected by all these things that I'm talking about. Uh, but um, uh, yeah, I'll probably choose 16. 16 is my first choice for the basic three bedroom. Then the rest of the three, either or, you know, depending on which is available on the higher floor and the price also. I suppose the price should be about the same because of the same facing as well. Um, Okay, so that's the entry level three bedroom, and then we talk about slightly larger one. You know, the next up, the three bedroom that has a uh, the third bedroom they can put a double bed, at least a proper uh, third bedroom. Okay, so that's the three bedroom deluxe uh, C two. So you look at here, 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 here. So you got six stacks to choose from. Uh, unfortunately, right, all of it are facing the the towards the Marymount Road. So so this is all equal. So it's just a matter of uh, whether you prefer it to be north or south and uh, price, right? So uh, not much, uh, I, I, I rather write 11, right? 11 facing this direction, uh, still a bit of distance from this block, right? 11 is good. Um, 21 is, is, is nice too, 21, I think 11 is good, 21 is good, right, uh, and, and uh, realize that 21 doesn't look directly to any of the unit, right, so as in the units don't look directly to you, versus like for example 20, you, you actually have these two units here that comes in here, so, so I would probably go with either 21 or 29 if I can, south facing, I think 28 is decent too, uh, 20 and 11 are decent too, but uh, personally, I, I would choose the south facing unit first. So, 29 or 21, and if it's uh, not available, then 28 or 11. Right, that's how I would choose my uh, three bedroom pre premium. And uh, you still have your third configuration, which is the C3. That's the uh, uh, three bedroom uh, deluxe. Right. Uh, which is only available here, so you don't have much of a choice, right? So uh, here or here, um, 61, right? I, I think the reason is obvious, 61, you get a clear view right here, whereas for 55, you kind of look into the corner of this 45 unit here, you know, for feng shui reasons, some people might not like it, uh, so 61 is yeah my preference right so uh how about how about four bedrooms right so let's talk about four bedroom four bedroom is uh okay now and uh, four is the d all right so they go by a is a one bedroom b two c is a three bedroom and uh, d is a four bedroom so you have your four bedroom here one two three four all right and then you have your uh uh one four two one all right that's the d2 over here d1 all right so the the, the default one bedroom the smaller size the one two five six um the smallest one you look at this uh like uh, light like gray kind of area so you have uh, a unit here on the 33 36 24 and 42 and 08 quite a number of four bedrooms right uh yeah so um Right, so if you have to choose, if you have to make me choose one, uh, I think I quite like 42 and 36 because of the 
the unblocked view, I think the view will be awesome. Uh, 33 is not too bad either. All right, you actually don't get uh, any anything over here. Right, so this tree for me, uh, the least would be 24. That would be my last choice. Right, uh, if I can avoid looking to someone's house, that would be my ideal preference. All right, so that's the uh, the four bedroom. All right, the slightly larger one. If you still remember, uh, one of the main difference is the fact that it has a larger kitchen and walk-in closet. So you have uh, this dark gray here, 32, 25. And 17. So which one will you choose? Uh, I would prefer 25, right? Between all of these three, if I have to get one, 25, right? Uh, here is unblocked. 32, you're looking in towards this direction, and 17. Uh, 17 will be my preference over 32, right? At least you still get a bit of distance over here, but still, uh, you don't get that, you know, that that view way out into the horizon. So 25, if I can get a super high floor unit for uh, type D2 on stack 25, uh, I would go for it. Right. And uh, then you have your, the, the last one, the four bedroom premium, remember? Uh, you have your, the, the wet and dry kitchen type, that's the largest. Uh, and it's only available on, uh, of course, the premium block, which is 10 and 12. So you either have a choice of 39, 37, 45, and 43. Uh, so, well, personally, I would go for 39, 37, right? Still looking into the landscaping within the development. Uh, still get some uh, water view, right? Here is also okay, actually you kind of like get unblocked by, but you'll be looking straight into the next uh, high rise here, which is like the HDB block. So uh, personally, I would prefer something that look inwards, right, in this case, so 39 and 37 for me. Right, uh, last but not least, you have your five bedroom. Uh, obviously, you the five bedroom will be the most expensive, so so actually you can't go wrong if you, if you follow where the largest uh, units and how they place their premium blocks, right? If Notice how they place their premium block on the left of the of the development instead of right, rather on the right hand side, and then they give the leftmost corner to the five bedroom. Why? Because the five bedrooms being here will get the best view, right? And so, uh, I mean, it's a given. Uh, you, if you're going to be paying such a premium, then I have to give you the best. The developer has to give you the best. So, so that is why, you know, I was I keep saying a few times if I can, my first choice, you know, I will be be looking for units that faces here. Then, if not, then maybe towards the inside, the waterway, you know, as much as possible, least blockage possible. Um, yeah. So, so, uh, yeah, five bedroom, you know, I, yeah, we don't have to choose here. It's either forty or forty six. So, so it really depends on you know, what's available. We'll just go for the highest possible floor. If you ask me. Right, and then uh, something that fits your budget as well. All right, so so uh, okay, I I I'm pretty done for this video. Uh, yeah, this is my first time doing this. Uh, actually, actually on a on a personal basis, we often talk our clients through this exact same process when choosing a unit. Uh, that's what we do. We would always have to uh, help them run them through. You know, uh, balloting can be a very stressful event, especially when. Once it's your turn, uh, you're always afraid that hey, look, what if I choose the wrong unit and cheat? You know that that I regret. So, uh, so we've been doing this for the longest time. Uh, we help clients analyze the floor plan. You know, depending on the the unit type they are looking for, then we just uh, help you run you through what are the pros and cons. There won't be a uh, there will never be a perfect stack. There will never be a perfect unit. There are always trade off, right? If you want view, sometimes you get afternoon sun. Uh, or if you want a better layout, in some cases, sometimes you you may get blocked in some corners or something. So, so it's all about uh getting the best possible uh uh outcome for the price that you're willing to pay, right? So, yep. So I hope this video has helped you. Uh, if you if you find it useful, right? Uh, uh, smash the like button. Uh, do subscribe to our channel. Uh, I'll be doing a lot more of this video. Uh, going forward. And uh, I I also input the uh, URL for this uh, Jetscape right in this uh, uh, description. So if you uh, miss the first wave, that's fine. I think uh, there's thousand over unit, right? So so you might still be able to get something uh, that you like 
after the, the official ballot, first ballot day. Uh, if you want the brochure, you want the floor plan, uh, or you want the latest availability or price list, please feel free to uh, contact me directly or uh, drop us a, 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 a sign up at the uh, website that I listed below for the project uh, and we get in touch with you as soon as possible. Right, so uh, I'll check out here. I'll see you at the next video. Thank you.